Welcome to Easy Bill's webinar. My name is Lee Fitzmaurice. I'm the marketing and the product manager at Easy Bill's. And today I will present to you how to use Easy Bill's to efficiently process document to zero. This webinar is for beginner zero users. I'm going to briefly talk about why Easy Bills, give you an overview, then step through the new trial process. After that, I will show you additional features, seal invoices, item code extraction, management approval, and Easy Bill expense claim. And before dive in, I would like to tell you a bit about uh, EasyBills. EasyBill was established in 2014. Now we are a major document processing software in Australia and several other countries, New Zealand, UK, and US. We are fully integrated with Zero. QuickBook Online, MYOB, NetSuite, and some job management software such as Simpro and Tidy. I will present first, so please hold your question until the end. Um, then you can process the Q&A and type in the questions. So let's begin. First, why EasyBill? Uh, EasyBill is a highly uh, automated solution. Um, it's 100% automatic. So there's no um, need for you to, to tell us what to do. Uh, don't need to type in the con code and told us how to post an invoice. So we use um, uh, artificial intelligence to process document and read the document like uh, uh, just you do. And then we use your zero invoice history to determine which account code to use. Easy Bill is a build uh, for uh, businesses for them to be a efficiently um, to process document. Uh, and also we have a management approval workflow we can use. Uh, when we process bills, we do give you line details. And so does when we process sale invoices and purchase order. The main document we process uh, including bills so it can be a PDF file or scan image. For scan, you can use your scanner or you download our phone app to scan receipts. Uh, sale invoices, we process a lot of sale invoices. About 30% of our document we process are sale invoices. So if your clients use a third party software to generate sale invoices, and you want to bring it into zero. So you can just simply email to us. Um, we also process receipts and a lot of them come in through uh, scanning using our phone app. We also purchase um, process purchase orders and supply statement. Okay, so um, let's uh, Next, uh, we'll go through a free trial process. Um, so go to our website, uh, easybills.com, and you will say a big button, try EasyBill for free, 30 day. Just simply click that. So there's a simple form for you to fill out, put in your username. Normally we suggest using your company name for example, your bookkeeping company, you can just put in the, the company name and then you can put a, 
your email address and and then you know put in your password and then come with password um, most likely you can be located Australian and you integrate with zero um, we also support a mile of QuickBook Online and the Simple Tidy Nestway. There's a few others. For, for today's purpose, we integrate with Zero and click register. So it's only take a minute for you to sign up a free trial for 30 days. And then you will see a big button click to Zero. So in this case, um, I just uh, click it. Um, I already logged into zero, so I just need to choose. Um, I got two zero company organization. I choose one and I say allow access. So easy bill is very simple. Free trial is only take a minute or two for you to do it and then you can just process uh, first your first bill and just say how is bill doing. So in this case, um, okay. Um, for each easy bill trial, we give you a upload email address so you can email bills and receipt or uh, any other document to easy bill. Or you can actually sync your email address. So we're not going to dive into in this one. And another way is actually you can select uh, invoice file on your uh, computer. Okay, I will just upload an invoice. Uh, this is a bunny invoice, so I just load, upload it here. So when you upload and will process straight away, and you will see an invoice tile appeared. And for each document you process, we will give you a doc ID. This is a seven digit number. So if you have any question about any invoice, uh, you just quoted this number and we know everything about this document. When uh, our support people will help you straight away. So it Basically, if you move your mouse over and you will see information. So uh, currently it's telling you we are doing uh, processing. But when it finish, it will show different color. If you move your mouse away clear, we will automatically refresh this one. Uh, once it's finished processing, it will be sent to zero. So I just going into zero and show you where we put uh, your document. So when you sign up a free trial, by default, we assume the document you are processing is a bill. So we will, by default, we will put into business, bill to pay, and draft. So, uh, Let's just go back to easy bill. So now the, the dark green color means the invoice is already finished. So it's already in zero. And if you move mouse away, it's like this, move mouse away, you will see the information. It telling you successfully export to zero. It's a supplier invoice, uh, give you invoice number and the invoice date. And there's a star, I mean, there, we extract the, the full table and there's a supplier and tell you a month and the tax. So here we give you quick access. By simply click this, you will see the bill we just export to zero. And we send the, the original bill original file you uploaded to zero as attachment and we extract the line details we obtain the account code based on your zero setting or your zero invoice history so we get all the gsts and everything for you so it just only take about 30 seconds and 
So a lot of our users, well, they use Easy Build, uh, but they, um, after setting up the initial phase, they don't really need to log into Easy Build much. So they tend to uh, just email bill, bill over. And uh, if a company has an account payable email, some of them automatically forward to Easy Bill. So what do they only need to do is on a weekly or monthly basis, they're going to come into their zero account, go to the business, bill to pay, and they look at the draft folder. And they will say, yes, Isabel has processed the six document to my draft. Often, depend on the, the volume, you probably have 30, 30, you know, 50. Uh, typical our clients process about 250 um, document uh, per month. So on a, on a scheduled basis, and weekly or whatever, and you come into the draft and then you say, okay, let me have a look. So you click the top one and you see the bill, the document and the data side by side. You quick have a look at it and say, yeah, everything was fine. The, the amount was right and the total was correct and uh, the con code, everything we done right. So you, you were very happy. So you basically go to here, click the drop down from approval and then say approve and view next. Okay, this is another one you happy with, approve and view next. And so that's basically what you what you do. And um, because we can provide your line details, so you can actually put a, each line on different job. Say, hmm, you know, you can you can do that by by uh, put them in different job. Or you can manage uh, each job better, so you know the cost, uh, how much money, and your clients are made for on each job. Um, for the drop tracking, if you know how to automatically track it, we can also do that automatically for you. Okay, so I just briefly show you how to sign up a free trial and then connect to zero um, and then uh, process the first bill. You, you can upload more or can, you can email, email to this one. So you can click that and just uh, see a test. Um, so, and this is a food bill, so we can just just send. So in the past, um, so if you uh, receive an email with a bill, some of the clients actually print it out and then type, uh, but now you just only need a forward to easy bill. And it's quite a straightforward process. And if you use a scanner to you do if you do have paper document, you you want to scan with your scanner, you can scan say 30 bills in one PDF and then you can upload the PDF. We will be able to automatically separate them into you know 30 bills and put every single of them into zero for you. So I just uh, emailed the second one so you can say it came, it, it came into um, Easy Bill straight away and we'll process straight away. And now it's finished. So you, you can see the information we put through and then you click zero and you will see it in zero. So this is the food bill and the GST is mixed. Some have GST. Uh, some have no GST, this one have GST, so it's a mix and that's fine. We can automatically do that for you. Um, so yeah, easy build, it's a 100% it's a automatic process and it's really straightforward. So basically just 
um, many ways you can upload document, you can upload by email, you can upload, um, you can scan receipt on the go, you know, different employee in your company, they can all scan receipt in, it's only once a week or, or, or whatever schedule, it come to zero and then just review it and then go. And that's this uh, you know, such a simple process. Okay. Um, so I just go through the the free trial process. Okay, um, I need to mention to one. So what data we actually use in zero to help? So we in zero, we use your zero contact data. And so if okay, I'm just so if we're a contact. When you have a, a major supplier, you already have a contact name everything in there. And when you put a, a zero a new contact in zero, so what uh, we recommend is you put a A B number for this supplier in this here called text and A B. You put there, and then we will be able to use this A B number to accurately match the supplier name. So your supply name might be different, so different from what on the invoice, as long as the AB match precisely and we'll get it. And another thing what we recommend to put is the, the bill due date. So if you want to say this supply is due date, so always say um, 30 days after the bill, you put there and we will use it. And um, so, uh, Supply information provider in zero give a lot of uh, guidance for us so what you want us to do. And another thing we recommend if you know for one client, you always pick this account code. So you just put it in and then you just save it. And then we're going to be use it in the future. And another zero data we I mentioned before we use actually zero invoice history. So we use your zero invoice history to know how you code it, um, what a supply and if the if one supply you have different account code use and we will use uh, the description on the invoice to, to code it based on your invoice history. Okay, that concludes my uh, this section about uh, new trial process. So next, I'm going to talk about the other features. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the sale invoices. So what I just show you is a bill. Easy bill can also process sale invoices. And if you log into Easy Bill, you will see settings. And easy bill setting, it help you to, to be able to use very advanced features. Uh, in this case, I'm show you how to use, so how to upload sale invoice. You see this email address, it's uh, has one bit different from your more normal upload email address. It's in here, I have a that sale. So if you put this email address, we know you want us to process sale invoices. So there are, there are also other ways for us to process sale invoices. So everything, we have a really good documentation online. So if you want to find more, you just go to our website and click user guide and zero. You will see all the, the information. For example, for sale invoices, uh, it's um, so you can use search. Our search really powerful. You can search where you want to go. So that's sale invoice processing. It will tell you the steps you need to do to process the inv sale invoices. Okay, so sale invoice is just very simple. Um, just follow the step. If you have any questions, you can always um, give us a call or um, send us an email. The next thing I am going to talk about is item code extraction. 
so far when I process bills, I didn't show any item code. If you have item code set up in zero, we can extract the item code in this case from the item number and then match your item code in your zero so we can track inventory or doing um, some other tracking. Um, and we can also, if your item code is different from uh, so your supply item code, that's fine. We will use description matching to find the best match. By default, we don't process item code. If you want to us to process item code, it's quite simple. You go into setting, click allow stock invoices. And this is the option is on. That's what we recommend. You can turn it off. And then you just say, save uh, save in save settings then when you upload a bill we will know you want us process item code so we will provide that code to you and automatically match in your zero okay another thing uh, advanced feature is a management approval so for some company it's uh, critical for the manager to prove um, some expenses. Some of the manager actually prove, approve all the expenses. Um, uh, to make it uh, automatically process, so you basically uh, go into easy build, click settings, and then and just go down a little bit. This enables approval workflow. So we allowed a two level approval. So the, you can choose one level. If one manager approval, that's all it is. So use single level. You can choose your two levels. The first one might be project manager and you can put the email in if you know it. And if you, if you don't know, it can leave it open so you can assign later or we can, um, turn on approval learning so we can automatically assign for you. And if you know the second level approval is all with the, the business owner, you can just put it here. So if you click this and then save it, and we will, um, we will automatically, okay, for example, in this case, I know the first level I want to um, manage it to approve, and you just put it here and then save it. So when you process a, a, any document, a bill, and we won't directly export to zero. So we will send this person to approve first. Once this person approved, and we're waiting for the second person to approve, and then we'll export zero. So it's quite straightforward process. So I'm not going to go into the detail to that, um, either and so basically show you we have a lot of capability you know to do things uh, another thing um, it's a employee expense claim for employee expense claim so basically if you want to use it you can set up the employee in the setting in the setting go in go down a little bit there's a list approval so you can set up, you can set up employee. So for example, Sam, you put there. And if you, for all the same expenses, you want Sam's manager to approve, maybe Peter, you can Peter put a Peter's address here, or email address here, and then say, okay, um, this is just a bank account. You, you don't have to put if Sam pay from his uh, personal uh, credit card, you just put it here. And that mean for whatever Sam claim, you're going to pay Sam, uh, Sam back, just claim, um, claim back. And this is a bypass approval. If you don't want, don't need anyone approval, you can bypass it. So once you set up, you just click save setting. Another thing you can set up is a company credit card. 
for example, you have a company credit card, NAB credit card, National China Bank credit card, you put a NAB credit card and then say, this is neither the owner to prove, the owner name is Max. So you say, Max going to uh, approve this and say, this is the uh, credit card, you just put a last four digit credit card and same as the one you set up in zero. So you don't have to give the real credit card number, but as long as whatever you set set up in the zero, you use the same number. And so in this case, mostly you don't put a mine expense. Uh, you can choose bypass approval, if you don't need anyone to approve, maybe the business owner just use credit card all the time, doesn't need anyone approve, so you just say bypass and then click uh, save changes. So then um, now we set up a SAM as employee and NAB as a credit card. So if you email to this email address, we'll process not as bill but as a spend money. So if you email to this, um, we will process it as employee expense claim. So the name and the, the name here, you can also put the name on our phone app. So if Sam put on his phone app, the setting, put a Sam as alias, and that means he is doing expense claim. So it's quite a straightforward process. And we will have more, we do have more webinars uh, solely on expense claim. So if you want to find them more and you can watch other uh, pre-recorded webinar. So basically, yes, I have go through all the, these uh, uh, features. We also have other features. Um, so Isabel is really, a uh, a puff, puff, very powerful software. We cater for business to handle a lot of paperwork. Um, we have um, some uh, uh, apps uh, we listed here. And one thing, you know, you can come in and have a look. One is called statement reconciliation. That's a talking, that's a, a supplier statement reconciliation. So if you want to ask process a supplier statement and give you a report and you can do that. So we also have other apps and you can go log into Easybill, click app and go and have a look. Um, Easybill also have a, a workflow. Normally when you sign up an Easybill account, there will be some standard workflow. This is a standard workflow for zero, but if you want to something special and we can build for you and then we just uh, um, build additional tasks in the process and then we just put in the additional tasks in this workflow. Um, so Isabel, yes, overall is really a powerful document processing software and a lot of zero users are, are using us and today I just uh, you know give you a, a brief uh, overview and if you have a um, any questions, you can always uh, uh, email or phone us and you can always you know, go through our website to look at the documentation. So this is a conclude uh, my presentation. So now I'm going to uh, see if any of you have questions I can help you with. So basically, you go to the Zoom icon and you will see a little tab, uh, a Q and A, and you can type questions. So I'll just wait uh, you know, uh, a few seconds to see if any question comes through. Okay. Um, I have a question uh, ask about uh, one process bill. Can we match a PO in zero? Yes, if you use a PO in zero and you process the bills, 
and we can find uh, the matching PO automatically and then close it for you. To use it, you need to go into setting to make some changes. Um, by default, we are not processing it. So there are documentation on our website and you can go through and find out what exactly what to do. Okay, this is, uh, I'm going. Okay, I have another question is talking about uh, uh, group and enterprise. So if you are a bookkeeper or a content, um, you have a, a lot of uh, uh, your clients and what do you need to do? After you set up the first free trial, what do you need to do? So basically, Isabel has, has a concept of a group. So you can put a, a lot of your clients in the same group. Then if you purchase one subscription, all the con and the group is covered. So once you finish the first trial, free trial, and then you can go to the setting. And then on the top, you can add more account. So for example, we add another account as, uh, so that's uh, another, you know, company, uh, I, I just put uh, something. And then, and they also zero, if they're not zero, you can choose somewhere else, that's fine. So basically you just register another account. So now you're gonna have uh, two accounts underneath you. One is, um, so I'm just go back to, to your account. Uh, I need to refresh it. Um, so, so you will have two accounts. That's your first try, that's the second one. So if, um, okay. Um, this is your first one. First try account, we, uh, we press it to invoices. So if you go here, you can switch around to account quite easily. And this is a second account we set up. You also need to connect, connect zero. So if you hit connect to zero, this time you can choose a, a different zero company. This is the last one I used, so you can choose another zero company. So now you get uh, two companies. So you, when you purchase, uh, subscription on the main account, the first one, and you will uh, have a subscription to cover all your account. Um, for this account, you can also choose to has uh, we call a, a desk, uh, we call HQ, Easy Bill HQ account. It's built like zero HQ where you can manage the multiple account quite easily. So you can go into setting and go to advanced options. And I think as far end, you can click the to upgrade to HQ account. This account will give you a good dashboard to show you all your clients and uh, what's the status, how many invoices are waiting to process, etc. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, another question is, uh, statement reconciliation. So supplier might send you a lot of bills. Um, some of your major supplier maybe send say five bills or months, but at the end of months, they might send you a, a statement. Uh, what you want to know is, do I have include all the bill and in zero? Have I paid the bills? So what you can do is, Upload the statement uh, here. The upload the statement to this uh, special email address, and then we will create a report showing you the status of each of the bill on the invoice. So, say one is already there paid, another one's missing, and so then you, uh, if there are uh, missing statement and we will uh, email you and then you can handle it. And this this uh, feature is uh, become quite popular. 
uh, recently. Okay, any more questions? Okay, um, so uh, look like no more questions. I'm and conclude uh, my presentation today. Again, thank you very much uh, for participating, participating in this uh, webinar. And I will um, save the recording and then send over to you. So if you want to um, rewatch some part of it, you can. So any questions, you can email us or call us or go through the user guide. Thank you very much for um, participating in this uh, webinar and uh, we'll see you again. And uh, let us know if you have any question during the free trial. Bye.